All right, well, still coming up on the channel, we're live to Pretoria, where the Auditor General will release the State of Delivery report. And that's going to come up shortly. For now, though, let's uh, take a look at what's happening in KwaZulu Natal ahead of World AIDS Day. More than 5,000 South Africans will take part in a new HIV AIDS vaccine efficacy trial. HVTN702 is the only HIV vaccine efficacy trial in the world and is being conducted solely in South Africa. The vaccine will be administered over three years with the results out in 2020. That's where we find our reporter Judith Subban. She's in Verulam, north of Durban. This is one of the areas where it's being rolled out. Uh, good morning to you, Judith. We want to get a sense of what exactly is going on, especially with those who have been accepted to participate in this trial. There's been a lot of talk around the amount of effort that it's actually taken uh, to get to this point. And of course, at the recent AIDS conference, it was also uh, said that um, South Africa plays a key role in terms of discovering a vaccine for HIV AIDS. So Certainly, uh, our our role in all of this being amplified and a vaccine trial like this certainly uh, puts us back on the map when it comes to the fight against HIV AIDS. So give us a sense of what those participants are going through right now. And if, if they realize that they could be part of uh, something historic here. Well, good morning to you, Kathy. Indeed, this is an historic moment for South Africa and the world by extension. Um, in the next half an hour, we'll start seeing some of the participants for this trial coming through and receiving what has been hailed as possibly a drug that could create a vaccine against HIV AIDS. What we know is, as you've mentioned, that the vaccine will be administered over three years. That's five injections with immune boosters, and they'll be monitored over that period. Uh, another year for then the data to be collated and, re and um, sort of analyzed before those results are released. And so there's a lot of excitement excitement not just from participants but scientists as well who were here waiting for those participants to arrive. They feel that they're on the brink of something pretty much historic and, and could say it take South Africa and the world to the next level in the fight against HIV AIDS. As we know, the UN uh, has stated that 330,000 South Africans were infected by HIV AIDS last year. And although the country has the largest treatment program in the world, they ha um, South Africa has oftentimes been criticized for failing to act uh, speedily in the fight against HIV AIDS when it first became uh, a pandemic. And so now, Finding a vaccine that would fight this virus would essentially put us at the forefront uh, and, and, and catapult us into making and putting us in a position where we would be uh, combating the disease and preventing it rather than trying to, um, you know, deal with it from a, a, a reactive point of view. Uh, Judith, what do we know about the kind of criteria that these participants had to fulfill? And is their lifestyle expected to change in any way in the next three years? Well, Kathy, what we know is that of the 5,400 participants who will take uh, part in the study, 40% of them will be male and 40% of them will be female. Um, there's a large uh, concentration or rather focus on the female contingent because as we know in South Africa, females between the ages of 18 and 25 carry the highest burden of HIV AIDS in the country. And so there will be a lot of regulation over their diet, their um, exercise routines, ensuring that the participants maintain a healthy lifestyle. All of the participants will be HIV negative. And so that raises the question of how will we know whether the vaccine works? Well, scientists say what they will essentially do is administer a placebo plus the drug itself to two groups. And what they will do is at the end of the study, look at the number of infections in one group versus the number of infections in the second group and be able to determine the efficacy rate of the drug. In previous studies in Thailand, which is where this study has been built upon, uh, the drug gave an efficacy rate of 31%. And scientists felt at the stage that we could build and make it a much more powerful drug to combat HIV AIDS. And so now what researchers are looking for is a drug that will essentially prove if, uh, 
efficacy in uh, around uh, 50 to 60 percent. That is far lower than most vaccines um, which go under manufacturing. And if it does prove at those levels, we could see the first HIV vaccine being produced worldwide. All right, Judith, that's where we leave it with you for now. Judith Subban, uh, she's out in Verulam, north of Durban for us. We'll have uh, more from her later. Of course, this is as we build up a two-world AIDS day.